Security forces in Egypt are on high alert ahead of rival rallies which are expected to later to mark the third anniversary of the uprising that eventually toppled Hosni Mubarak. The anniversary comes as tensions were heightened on Friday by a series of bombings in Cairo. They were followed by clashes across the country which left at least 18 dead and dozens others wounded. The first explosion hit police headquarters in Cairo before Friday prayers. The nearby Islamic Art Museum was badly damaged. An Al-Qaeda-inspired militant group Ansar Beit el maqdis has claimed responsibility. There was a second explosion a few hours later near a metro station in the Do'i district of Giza. Then a third blast near a police station in Al -Haram, the Al Haram area of Giza. The fourth explosion was also in Giza in front of a cinema. Surveillance video appears to show the bomb exploding directly in front of the building. Also damage and destruction across the street. This is the Museum of Islamic Art. Again, much of the facade of this structure has been destroyed. And then you see this. Hundreds of people who've come onto the scene, many of them stunned, many of them angry. Throughout the day, three smaller bombs targeting police exploded elsewhere in Cairo. The seemingly coordinated attacks come one day before the anniversary of Egypt's 2011 revolution. A red Suzuki vehicle approached the police headquarters and two gunmen sprayed the guards with bullets. There were two passengers next to the driver and one of them threw a plastic bag inside the police building. A metro station, a police checkpoint and a cinema, the scenes of further attacks across the city. I was standing here waiting for the bus to go to Friday prayers and I was suddenly surprised by this explosion. A billboard flew in front of me and mud came up from the grounds. Responsibility for the blasts was claimed by the Al-Qaeda inspired group Ansar Beit al maqdis The now outlawed Muslim Brotherhood condemned the attack. But those on the streets and those in charge of the military installed government laid the blame firmly at their feet. We will continue with our roadmap as we are. They will vanish soon and this operation is their last chance before they vanish. Hundreds of pro-army protesters flocked to the scene of the first blast, chanting anti-Muslim Brotherhood slogans and demanding those responsible be brought to task. Whoever did this must be hanged. The government's leniency won't do any good in this situation. No group has claimed responsibility yet for the blasts. The latest in a string of attacks on police since Egypt's military removed Mohamed Morsi from power last July.